up? Welcome back to another video. Um, so basically, most of my makeup is done. I just need my eyes done. I need a little bit of blush, a little bit of highlight, a little bit of setting spray, and you know, some lippy work. But I just thought I'd cut that part out because it is not what today's video is about. It is about the eye look, ladies and gents. We are about to do a fall eye look today. The palette that I am going to be using for today's fall eye look is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette. This is from her Vault collection. It is Ring the Alarm, I think. Yes, it is being the alarm. Lots of nice, pretty, fun, full colors to work with. So uh, let's get started. So first, I'm gonna begin using the color Mug Shot, and I'm gonna take that on a fluffy brush like this. This is the Morphe 441 brush. It's just big and fluffy, and I'm just gonna take it into it and then place that kind of right here on my outer V area and then also sweep that into my crease. So just keep going in and pat, pat, pat on the outer edge and swirl that color in because that is where you want the most pigment to go. And then start carrying that into the crease. And build that color to your desired boldness, I guess. Desired colorness, desired opacity. What is the word? pigment, maybe? Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. By the time you have like nothing left on your brush, you're just gonna be very like broadly like sweeping it and with a very light pressure blending it out into a seamless blend. I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other eye really fast. Is it just me or when you're doing your makeup, does it always feel like the second eye that you're doing turns out better than the first eye that you're doing? I always feel like that. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like when I'm creating a new look, I just always get it better the second time because I know the placement better of where exactly I want the color and what exactly I want it to look like versus just imagining it and trying to do it from that. Uh, just something I've noticed. Let me know if you guys have noticed any of that in your makeup journey. I would love to know. And next we're going to go into our alert, which is this orange color. And we're just going to dip. This is kind of like an angled fluffy brush. We're going to put that right here, up and out, right there. And you're just going to pack that color on and also blend it out into the crease. And make sure not to carry it above the other color that you have already applied to your lid. And there is in my eyelash over here. It's fucking shit. And build up the color slowly till your desired colorness. <laughs> Next, with the more flat packing brush, you're gonna take the color. Hmm. Yes, you're gonna take the color secret, which is this color right here. You're just gonna be applying that to the brush. Make sure to tap off the excess because you don't want to fall out. Or you want as little fall as possible if you do get some. We're just trying to keep it to a minimum since the base is basically already done. And then slowly you're going to add that color right close to the lash line. And tap in motions and then also start circling it up and out. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take a full, uh, like a more flat, denser brush and take this color boom right there and pack that on to the brush and tap off the excess. So I'm gonna be applying the boom color kind of on the center of my lid and a little bit into secret. And then I'm gonna take that brush that I applied secret with and apply it barely on top, right on the edge of where I applied the C or the boom color to blend it out. So you guys probably can't even see what I'm doing. Like that. And just blending it and blending it, you know? And going back and forth and switching colors. And then now I am taking a even smaller flat brush. Um, these brushes don't have names. My mom just gave them to me for Christmas last year, so yeah. And I'm gonna be taking the shade on camera, which is a beautiful gold color. Applying that to the inner part of my eye. I'm gonna take some Morphe setting spray and spray my brush a little bit. And add a second layer. And just keep adding on very slowly, building up. The color. With a tiny brush and blending it into that bronzier shade. Until you have a little something like this. Now it's time for some lower lash line action. So if I were to bold this look up, I would want to go in with Siren and actually take that under my lash line. But since I kind of want to do more of a casual look, I'm just going to take Alert back with it, in with that same brush that I used up above and slowly smoke that out on my lash line. And bring it in your lash line to like right about here and don't take it all the way in. Most of my um, attempts to how I apply my makeup is geared towards people who like kind of have my eye shape. So if you have my eye shape, this these techniques will work wonderfully for you. For those of you not with my eye shape, I'm not sure how my techniques will work out. So you might have to adjust the technique on how you're applying the shadow based on your eye shape and so now that I have barely nothing left on the brush I'm gonna start dragging it down and blending it out okay and now that that is on I'm gonna go back in with that same brush that I used to apply secret in and the color secret and apply that closer to my lash line kind of stopping right in the middle of my lower lash line and not going all the way towards the inner corner okay so next i want to add some inner corner highlight and i want to use um a color that i normally don't use and these are the brushes i have left to choose from that aren't dirty so um we're gonna use this one so normally I would not use a brush that's shaped like this, but I'm, I'm going to because it's the only one I have to use. And I'm going to take this lolly color, which is this pink color right there. And that is going to be my inner corner highlight. And how I apply my inner corner highlight is I, I see it like right there and then also in the inner part of my eye. 
And so this is the eye look done without lashes, obviously. Without lashes and liner. Right, so the liner I'm gonna be using is the Bright Eyes Enhancing Eyeliner by Skin, I think. It's like wiped off, so I can't really see what it says. Okay, and I will be finishing up the rest of my face and I need to dust off some fallout and I will be right back. More. So this is a completed look. Look at the eyes. Uh, so beautiful. Let me set you guys back down. We adjust that. So my lipstick, I ended up going up with Beauty Bakery in the shade Ginger Snap. And my eye look is snapping. I was gonna say popping, but like I thought I would play off the ginger snap pun and do snapping. Sorry, ignore the pun. But I am loving this eye look. I can't stop looking at it in the mirror. If you guys want, you guys can add liner. You guys can add falsies. Um, I was gonna add falsies and then I was like, nah, I kinda like this look without falsies by itself, just semi, I was gonna say a little bit more natural, but what is natural about this full face beat that I have going on right now? But I'm absolutely in love with this full look and I hope you guys love it too. I would love to see your recreations. Make sure to tag me in the them I will link my socials below so you guys know what to use to tag me and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye